Why run a full test suite when only one or two tests are impacted by a code change we are working on? This is where continuous testing with .cover comes in. By looking at code coverage data, .cover can determine which projects need to be built and which tests need to be run whenever we make a code change. Let's dive in and see how this works. First, we want to start a continuous testing session. This is done from the ReSharper menu here. Next, we have to decide how we want continuous testing to work. We can have it detect and run dirty tests on save or on build. We can have it run tests automatically or just show us which tests are affected so we can run them manually. Let's pick this one here. Basically, whenever we make a code change and save the file we are working in, .cover will build and rerun all the dirty and affected tests. Once we make a selection here, .cover will perform an initial test run to make sure that it can detect which tests cover which line of code. Alright, now let's make some code changes. In the Hello World Factory class here, let's return a different type. The moment we save, we can see that .cover continuous testing automatically builds our project and runs all the tests that previously covered this line of code. In this case, just the Hello World Factory facts. Let's undo our change and save again so we can see it in action. Depending on where we make the change, one or more tests will be executed automatically by .cover continuous testing. If we edit this class here, we'll see more tests that are affected by our change. Again, .cover detects the tests that are impacted by our change and automatically runs the tests. That's pretty nifty. Now not everyone will keep the continuous testing window open all the time. .cover shows us the test status in the status bar of Visual Studio. Let's make some changes and save again. All green? Then we're writing code that is successfully covered by unit tests. By using code coverage data, .cover continuous testing can detect the unit tests that are affected by the changes we make in code and automatically build and run them. This provides a really fast feedback loop when making changes in code and helps ensure code quality. Give it a try!